Yesterday afternoon, Bloomberg reported the Qatari group led by Sheikh Jassim is increasingly confident it has won the bidding war for Manchester United. This could be significant as Bloomberg is generally considered to be a very reliable financial media outlet and is a well-established and respected brand in the financial industry. The article also states that those within the inner circle of the Qatari bid have now begun communicating their confidence of victory and believe it's just a matter of time before an official announcement is made. Once again, this news of a potential Qatari takeover acted as a catalyst for the Manchester United share price started to spike and at one stage the price was up as much as 11%. Qatar media channels are also starting to report more on the Qatari bid and whilst the context of these reports don't claim anything with regards to a Qatar win, it's significant that the coverage is increasing. The Manchester United AGM, which is the annual general meeting for shareholders, was also taking place at 8.30pm in New York yesterday. The purpose of the AGM was to discuss two main areas. 1. To elect 11 directors for a one-year term and until the election and qualification of their respective successors in office. And 2. To transact such other business as may properly come before the annual general meeting and any adjournment or postponement thereof. Information from the AGM is rarely made available to the public. There are no cameras, no recording equipment or electronic devices permitted at these meetings and security is very strict. So was the timing of the Bloomberg announcement intentional? Do they know something we don't? In an interview with the United View, David Herlier of Bloomberg told the channel that I've been told by sources that Sir Jim Radcliffe's bid is dead. And the interview also went on to highlight that the minority shareholders in Manchester United sent a letter to the Glazers telling them that they will sue if they accept Sir Jim Ratcliffe's offer. Now, for, for my part, I, I picked up on um, another aspect of this, which was um, really to do with the Jim Ratcliffe side. And um, I was picking up from advisors to Man United that, that um, basically his, his bid as it stands is dead in the water. I mean, absolute dead in the water. And the, the reason for that is that he is proposing um, a structure which would um, buy out the Glazers, as, as you know, the, the, the majority shareholders, and not offer anything to the minority holders. Now, the minority holders are uh, slightly aggressive um, funds, in the, mainly in the US, but there's some in, in the UK. And um, I was told that, that, that you know they have made it absolutely clear to the Manchester United board uh, via a letter that was sent uh, that if you if you recommend this offer which prejudices us gives us um, no offer at all uh, we we end up with um, discounted shares while the guys get everything this is big news and could confirm that Sir Jim Ratcliffe is actually out of the running Ben Jacobs also provided an update on Twitter claiming that the 9-2 Foundation more positive following their improved fifth offer, but there's also still scepticism over the Glazers' intentions. Those close to the group view the most likely outcome as a Qatar win or a no-sale and are still in the dark. He also went on to say that Ineos sources still insist that it has not been communicated to them that they are out of the race, but insiders indicate their bid will struggle to gain board approval in its current form. In an interview with the United Stand today, Ben Jacobs claimed, in order for Sir Jim Ratcliffe to be successful, they would have to engage with and pacify the other shareholders. Should this be unsuccessful, he may have to go down the 100% ownership route, which he himself is not too keen on. After the already long drawn out process, many fans still aren't buying this news claiming Qatar close to acquiring Manchester United. Journalist and Manchester United broadcaster Rob Blanchett said, rinse, recycle, repeat, share price jumps and share price falls. Rob isn't wrong, we seem to be going around in circles and the Manchester United sale process is now into its 8th month and to state the fans are frustrated would be an understatement. So many feel the end might be in sight but our patience is wearing thin. Glazers out.